Hi, I am Susan Africa and this is my story. day very well. Mm -hmm. I was doing a show for the other network and then his doctor called me on the cell phone and mm -hmm. nobody calls me on the cell phone during mm -hmm. taping. Mm -hmm. And he told me I need to see you right away. So I made paalam sa taping. I rushed to the hospital mm -hmm. and it was cheap. Just the doctor, Oswald Herrera and me. He told me um, he has superior vena cava syndrome. Period. There was no mention of the C word. I had to be composed, you know, mm -hmm. I have to be strong for spanking the kids. Mm -hmm. okay. And even when we went home and then I told the children, we only addressed it as a mass in his lung. Mm -hmm. We didn't even call it tumor, it was just a mass in his lung. Because it, you know that he would, when you mention the big C, it's like a death sentence. Mm -hmm. You know that you go through chemotherapy, but you know there will be the ups and downs, and when you mention the word cancer, mm -hmm. It's scary. You don't know what's going to happen. You know mm -hmm. that eventually treatment can be successful or not. Mm -hmm. But it was somehow to give Spanky hope. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important for carers to make sure that their patient is comfortable and feels loved. Um, we converted Spanky's library into a cheerful hospital room. Mm -hmm. We pasted wow. his favorite pictures on the wall mm -hmm. so that when he wakes up in the morning, he would see his picture mm -hmm. to make him happy. Mm -hmm. And then it became his um, habit. Every time he woke up in the morning, he would ask me to read Facebook messages from friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we would um, invite friends and relatives frequently to mm -hmm. please come and visit him in the house. Mm -hmm. And there were particular people that he wanted to see, most especially his brothers, his sisters, his nephews and his nieces. Mm -hmm. He made sure that he was always happy. This journey is not only family and friends, even strangers who matter. In fact, one of Spaggy's one of his favorite sayings inspired was inspired from this. He said, life is so beautiful, yeah. life is worth fighting for. His medical oncologist was fantastic. She's Dr. Reggie this one. She told me, you know, from the beginning, keep all of his medical records in a clear book. Why? Because the journey is going to be long okay. and you will be meeting many doctors and you don't want to keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I think everything happens for a reason. Maybe the reason that I'm finding right now is to be able to share it for future carers and caregivers to be able to help them organize and take care. Because when you're in an emotional state, yeah. You need to fix things properly. Mm -hmm. So aside from this clear book of his medical exam, mm -hmm. we also kept a diary of his daily daily vitals. Daily. Things that he would say, things that he would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, daily as much as possible. It's also easy for the his children to see yeah. what what went through that day while they are in school. So when they come home they will see what would the medicine that he took, mm -mm. but I had to make sure that he took the medicines on time. Mm -mm. I think the key word for a care is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to think less about yourself and mm -hmm. more about the patient, his mm -hmm. comfort, his needs, what would he, what would make him happy. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why we had to go through spiritual challenges also yeah. for us to be able to accept mm -hmm. whatever will happen. When Spanky passed away, we were submerged into really deep grief. It is something that, um, another phase that I think one should undergo by themselves because mm -hmm. you, you start asking questions. What do I do now? How do I continue? And in the middle of one of those depressions, I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, use me. I don't know what to do. After a week, Somebody contacted me through my Facebook page, mm -hmm. inviting me to be a part of the Cancer Advocacy Program. I said, hmm, maybe this is cancer? I don't mm -hmm. know. So we met you, and yes. we met a Hope no. From Within People. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, I joined it. 
number one, to perpetuate the memory of Spanky and to be able to inspire others by his courage and his bravery and his persistence and his determination to get well. Mm -hmm. To provide courage yeah. and to share information to caregivers, how to help them be able to organize and take care of their patients properly mm -hmm. and to inspire them and to keep them happy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because this is a very precious moment in the patient's life yes, that yes. everybody should participate in and be a part of the journey of.